Hey guys, this is Blue Note, and Blue Note is about timeless noted messages. So if these messages resonate with you, please like, share, subscribe and to help my channel grow and to help just get out to someone who needs these messages. Um, the time is 9.53 a.m. February 3rd, 2022. Um, I am thinking about right now, the thoughts that's in my head right now is an ogre, which is Shrek. That's the first time I heard of an ogre. I don't know if that's a real thing or not, but an ogre is definitely somebody oh, Shrek is definitely somebody who is completely a loner right he's very antisocial he's very unfriendly and unapproachable he's basically a meanie he's a fucking asshole um he he's even an asshole to the nice animals in the forest <laughs> even the fairies he he literally don't want nobody to come over his house he don't want to talk to anybody he basically wanted everybody to get off his fucking swamp. He didn't want nobody on his swamp. He didn't want nobody near him. He didn't want to talk to no fucking body, right? Just an old, grumpy old man. Um, I um, also got the uh, the song that, was, um, that came on at the beginning of Shrek, which was, um, Hey now, you're an all-star. Get the show on. Go play i think that's that song if it's not that song i'm still going to put the song in the description box below i'm also going to put the movie shrek in the description box below so y'all can see how he is at the beginning because i believe at the beginning of the movie they show how lonely he is he's by himself sitting at his table eating sitting at his diner room table eating by himself he's lonely and he's very content in being lonely but he's still unhappy 9 55 on the clock um I also want to let you guys know that it's raining outside on my end. And um, the rain to me um, has this, what I feel is very calm, very at ease. Um, the rain always make me feel like I'm at ease with, if I'm emotionally confused, it's definitely an energy of ease and emotional confusion and suffering. It's raining outside literally while I'm doing you guys reading. Um, yeah, maybe this person is um, probably at ease with their self. They're very content with being a loner. Probably very content at being an old grumpy man. But they're they're really unhappy. Because rain also to me is kind of like a sad and gloomy thing but also can ease the sad and gloominess and the suffering because it had it, it kind of forces you to sit back the rain a lot of people don't like to be outside in the rain the rain always make you want to feel cozy and be inside so that's the emotions that i'm getting from you or this person um i'm also getting the song by tony braxton um there's no me without you. There's no meaning to life without you. There's no walk through the park, the beat of my heart. No, I love you. No, I can't live without you. I think that's the lyrics at the end. Um, That is Tony Braxton, and I believe that song is called... Um, there's no me without you i will put that song in the description box below um if i wasn't going to sing that song i swear that song probably would have been in my head the whole time i do this reading so i'm trying to get these songs and these movies out before i actually do you guys reading because it's going to it's going to drive me crazy because it's not going to leave until i let it out but so far i that's all i got this person definitely probably feels this person is probably do you or this person is probably in the ogre energy shrek just think of shrek but your overall energy is the page of wands clarified with the four of pentacles followed by the ace of swords the page of wands is about somebody aries leo sagittarius energy somebody who could be uh, uh immature or emotionally immature or somebody who is just probably lack experience i'm not going to say they're um, um immature but somebody who lacks experience of 
some type of energy. It could be anything. But this person is rushing in to come bring you to to bring you some type of good news. Somebody wants to call, text you, DM you, come and talk to you. They want to talk to you because they're interested in you. They're very confident in letting you know this good news. There is your Sagittarius energy. Clarify with the four of wands. Four of wands. Ooh, where's the four of wands? I'm somebody probably want to fucking get married to you or probably want to have a relationship with you. Clarify with the four of pentacles. This is somebody who is literally holding on to you. Holding on to you for dear life. They treating you as a possession. This is somebody who probably wants to control you. Not in a bad sense. I don't get that bad sense. I think somebody just wants to come in and control the situation because they 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 want to hold on to you this is somebody who literally don't want to let you go again this is, could be this ogre energy this grumpy old man energy this person is probably coming in very childlike very playful very fun like to come in and give you this good news because i feel like this person i'm getting a very nervous feeling um my root chakra is tingling right now i'm feeling very innocent right now I think this person approach is to come in very innocently to just ease the, the the suffering of them probably overthinking everything. I just feel like this person overthinks everything. And when they overthink, they think about it in a negative way. So followed by with the Ace of Swords, this person wants to come in and give you clarity. And this is the truth. This person wants to have victory with you. Um, this person definitely want to give you clarity because I, um, I'm, I'm definitely getting energy that this person, um, realizing the truth for what it is. I think this person realizing who you are to them and this person feel like they're making the right decisions by coming in to rush in to give you this good news. Uh, this person actually is in an energy of having a breakthrough because, this person wants to have a new beginning with you. I did not say the four of wands for, for no reason. This person probably wants to have a reunion with you. They want to have happiness with you. Okay? This probably this is probably somebody who who knows who knows that that you are their destiny. 10 o'clock on a dot. Somebody definitely have some spiritual enlightenment in this energy. This is somebody who you probably had a lack of communication with. Somebody who probably made wrong decisions by not giving you the information that they needed to give you or let you know how they feel. Um, yeah, this person definitely probably see... This is somebody who wants to come in and bring you the good news because this is somebody who see this situation with you as faded they see you as their soulmate they see that this relationship is definitely good luck this is somebody who's literally making a decisive moment to come and talk to you and tell you this good news i'm strongly getting that somebody is in love there's no me without you there's no meaning to life without you this is somebody who literally feel like this is faded. They know that you are their soulmate and they literally want to move forward with you. This is before the four of wands. This is somebody who's literally waiting for their ships to come in with you. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This is fire energy. This could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cusper. This person wants to move forward with you. They have forward planning with you. They are happy with these choices. They know that this is the right decision for them. They know that this is the truth for them. They know that they can have financial new beginnings with you. They know they can have, uh, they can probably start a business with you. This is somebody who wants to start a business with you. You, you probably are the, are the type of person who probably either have a good job or they probably have a good head on their shoulder. I'm, I'm going to be talking to somebody who, who literally is somebody who is a smooth selling type of person. Somebody who literally thinks before they do things and thinks things in the right way, very gracefully, very powerfully. Yeah, this person is definitely... Well, you know, with the ogre, with Shrek, Shrek was very unfriendly, um, very unapproachable and mean. He was an asshole until he found love. Literally, he was a fucking asshole to everybody. He was an asshole throughout his life. He was unhappy because people were act other people were mean to this is giving me Grinch vibes. Um, people were so fucking mean to him because of how he looked 
or people was just so mean to him because of his persona or how they treated him because he was an ogre. So he, he gave off the same energy to other people. So this is, I could be talking to some, talking about some, uh, somebody who literally dated people who were just like them and it didn't work out in their favor. So now I just feel like this person is probably in love. And um, I think that this person is really trying to ease their emotional suffering that they have, that they probably was carrying on with them for a long time. This is somebody who literally is going through a breakthrough. They are in love. They want to have new beginnings. The Ace of Swords followed by with the Nine of Swords. This Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. The Nine of Swords is about somebody who literally is like they're recovering it's like they're coping with this energy this is a different type of energy for them this is somebody who literally is going through a breakthrough into new beginnings this is somebody who is probably feeling very regretful and shameful for probably either you i, I don't get an energy maybe this person probably treated you some type of way or they probably just didn't come in to tell you how they feel so i just feel like this person is having a total breakdown right now I think this person is having a total breakdown and they feel extremely guilty. Clarify with the judgment in reverse. They feel extremely guilty because of their indecisiveness, fire energy. Um, this person probably was very indecisive about you. Um, they know that this was very unfair on your end because at the end of the day, you probably, again, you probably are a very easy going type of person. You're probably very smart. You're probably everything that this person want, right? But this person probably was very indecisive. This is probably somebody who literally didn't know which way they wanted to go. They were, they didn't know if they wanted to be in a relationship or not, or they probably just wanted to stay in a certain state of, type of state of mind. Again, the ogre, the Shrek. I keep seeing his face. It's so funny. Shrek was somebody who was literally stuck in his own ways. Somebody who literally wanted to stay in them ways because he felt comfortable and safe in that type of energy. This person was very indecisive about you. And I think that this person has learned their karmic lessons. Which is why they're realizing the truth of what it is. This is probably giving this person night terror. This person is probably definitely having sleepless nights about you. They're burdened and stressed about this because before they probably was focusing on the past or, or you know, focusing on shit that probably happened in other relationships. But by them being in that energy, it made this person deeply unhappy. It did not satisfy them in any which way because literally they want you. You could be this queen of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries energy. You are a very mature woman, a businesswoman, somebody with a high social status, somebody who's very successful and financially independent on their own. You could be somebody who's literally focusing on their money, somebody who constantly focuses on their money. You could be having a business that's probably very um, lucrative, um, a very um, growing business. So you're basically sitting on your throne and focusing on you and your money. This person feels like a failure because of their reckless behavior. They feel stupid because they really fell for a lot of distractions. This person is you know, Aquarius energy. This person is probably all up in the air with their energy. Somebody who literally tries to distract herself from you. This is somebody who's literally trying to distract herself from you. Because of their indecisive, this is somebody who's really trying to turn a blind eye for taking a leap of faith with you. This is somebody who's literally trying to turn a blind eye to have a new beginning with you, knowing that this is what they want, knowing that they are completely in love with you. King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, strongly Pisces energy. This person is completely in love with you. They want to offer their cup to you. This is somebody who wants a rebirth with you. They want to have a renewal with you. Again, somebody wants to come in and rush in and give you this good news. They want to call and text you because they're interested. They are in love with you. Somebody is hopeful that you will answer their fucking call or get in contact with them first before they call you. Because I feel like this person is literally 
immensely in love. Clarify with the the King of Swords in reverse. This person is is being an idiot though right now. This person is probably trying to control the narrative. They're really trying to control what's going on. They're they're acting like they're they're giving me narcissist vibes. Like somebody who's literally, I, I I'm, I'm I'm strongly in the energy that somebody probably showed it's and bits it's and bits and pieces of how they feel about you. Or again, this is this page of wands energy just. A uh, person who has a lack of experience of probably showing their love. They hold on to you and treat you like a possession. Excuse me. But they have a hard time with probably showing their emotional side, which is some which which is why it's probably raining right now. Somebody is really trying to ease the emotional emotional confusion and suffering that they put onto their self. Clarify with the Ace of Cups in reverse. Somebody's literally in their energy of blocking their emotions right now. Blocking their emotions, preventing them from having a new beginning. Somebody's really trying to turn a blind eye to this new beginning. This person literally wants to, this this person literally still wants to move on to calm awards. This is somebody who wants to heal this connection. Somebody who definitely wants to relieve, relieve this emotional confusion and this suffering. Somebody who's definitely trying to escape from the suffering of them holding herself back from love. Because it's kind of pointless. It's like, why are you holding yourself back? You're not happy. You're deeply unhappy. You know that this person is what you are looking for. This person is definitely in a in a process of progress. And I, I could be talking to somebody who probably just... um got out of isolation or is getting out of isolation somebody who probably literally went through a spiritual awakening which was probably fucking scary as shit to them so they're probably in an energy of of still feeling like indecisive energy but this person clearly is coming in to come to come in and, and rush in and give you this good news this person is literally going to come in Literally, clarify with the page of wands, page of wands, this person wants to come in and talk to you. They're in an energy of being very confident right now and very and, and, and um very brave to come in and talk to you about them being interested in giving you this ten of cups. This person, again, I just said somebody wants to have this ten of cups with you. Boom, boom, okay? This is, this is a will of fortune. The will is spinning in this time. This is the time... This is a perfect time for this person. This person, like, if I don't do this right now, I'm not going to do it again. Like, if I'm, I'm in the energy. I'm strongly, my root chakra is tingling right now. This person in their name and my um, sacral chakra and my solar plexus. This person, it, it, this is the energy of somebody who is probably like, I have to do this right now because I'm not going to do it later. This is the type of person they jump in. This is somebody who's very impulsive. Fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Very impulsive. They If they don't do this impulsively right now, they're probably not going to be impulsively be able to do it again because they're probably going to draw right back into that ogre energy. Somebody wants to have a reunion with you. Somebody wants to have a new beginning with you because they see you as somebody who they probably want to be in a relationship with. With They see you as a blessing. They see you as destiny. They want to have a happy family with you. This is somebody who probably wants to have abundance and stability with you. Somebody know that this relationship is a harmonious relationship. They've been proud. This is probably 10, 11, 10, 10, 11, 10 12, 1 o'clock. Somebody literally has went through a spiritual awakening. Somebody definitely is coming in, and when I'm in, when I'm talking in tarot talk, this coming in is is you know it could be different for everybody. Everybody's situation is different. This person could come in today, or tomorrow, or six months later. This is a timeless reading, but for sure, I'm letting you know right now that this person is in love with you. Um, it, you know, this is the type of person who probably needs time or this person has to really physically see you in person in order for them to take action. If they're constantly away from you, this is the type of person who will still constantly stay away from you, even though they imagine how you guys are going to be or how they're going to come in. This person probably won't even come in because they're so, 
this is somebody who daydreams a lot or probably overthinks a lot. Somebody who overthinks and daydreams about how you guys are going to live but don't live and be in a relationship with each other but don't come forward and actually tell you how they're fucking feeling. We're 20 minutes in and I didn't even get all the way into the reading. Um, and your preconceived thoughts you have the hermit. You are probably going, this is probably this person, honestly. You or this person, somebody's going through a spiritual enlightenment. Again, 10 o'clock on a dot, somebody's going through a spiritual enlightenment. Somebody's going through a self-reflection time. This is somebody who's going, who's remaining in solitude in their preconceived thoughts because they're soul searching. Somebody is understanding how they feel. The color gold can be significant. Somebody probably literally had a spiritual enlightenment. Again, gold can be this bright idea or just having this this spiritual enlightenment. Let me just show y'all the energy that I'm feeling. You see this thing that's around this clarity? Somebody literally probably had an epiphany, right? Um, the letters I, R can be significant. This is Virgo energy. Somebody could have Virgo in a north node or south node or somebody completely can be a Virgo. Or they have it in that chart in some way. Clarify with the justice. This person literally is in self-reflection mode. Um, in their introspection. Because they are dealing with their consequences. They are learning a life lesson right now. And this is the truth. Somebody literally is in cause effect energy. Clarify with the three of cups. That this person literally knows. They're in their introspection. Knowing that they're dealing with their com uh, their their karmic justice and consequences. They know the truth. They want to have a reunion with you. This is somebody who wants to have a reunion with you. They see happy times with you. This is somebody who probably know they want to have some type of engagement with you. Now, I would say third party situation, but I don't get that right now. I don't get that it's a third party situation. I think that this person literally knows exactly what they are looking for. If it is a third party situation, somebody's dealing with their consequences about a third party situation. Somebody's definitely know they're realizing the truth. Somebody's probably definitely learning their life lessons about having a third party situation. And this is the truth. This reading is the truth. Whatever I'm saying right now, obviously spirit has is telling me the truth because uh, it's a lot of major arcanas in this reading. So this is spirit actually probably taking control of the situation with you guys. Clearly, this is an energy of two people who are spiritually guided to each other. Um, at the present time, you have these seven of cups. Seven of cups is about somebody who probably have multiple... Multiple possibilities could be multiple options. Somebody's being picky and choosy. Somebody's probably dealing with their fantasies and dealing with illusions at this time. Somebody's definitely in the energy of imagining and dreaming, okay? This is somebody who has a lot of decisions and choices. Probably somebody who probably is getting into an energy of realizing their decisions and choices is poor choices and realizing they're probably missing the opportunity, this is a truth. This is somebody who probably is an energy of lacking some type of spiritual growth as well. Avoiding the issue. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Clarify with the emperor. It's an Aries. Somebody who literally is probably an energy of probably dealing with multiple options. This is somebody who is probably dealing with some with people who they're having fan they're fulfilling their fantasies with, but these these multiple options literally is all illusions. This is somebody who have all these choices choices and decisions, but they're probably in the energy of getting a fucking reality check. Somebody has clarity. This is somebody who is probably in their sober energy realizing that they made a lot of poor choices. Somebody who's realizing the truth about what the fuck is going on with their self. Somebody who def definitely wants to ease the emotional confusion with their self and the suffering within their self. This is this Aries energy is somebody who's very stable, somebody who's very logical and practical at this time. Somebody is being very logical in this energy. And they're protecting their self probably from these other options. They're probably actually realizing these other options are literally poor choices. Literally. Somebody's literally protecting herself. The color green can be significant. This is probably somebody who is activating their heart chakra. The color green is heart chakra. Somebody's literally opening their heart up. 
ease in this pain. Again, this is somebody who could be in their ogre energy until they literally found love. And the love is probably within you. They're looking at these options and they're not fucking satisfied. If you look at this person's face, he's looking over there and he's not even smiling. This is somebody who gained a lot of wisdom by having these options and choices. He's not fucking happy with these options and choices. Clarify with the Eight of Cups in reverse. This is somebody who it's probably in their stagnant energy because and acting like they're happy, but they're faking they're happy. This person is not happy. Having these options of choices is basically making this person have low self-esteem. And it's all because this person have a fear of commitment. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This person is literally in love with somebody, faking their happiness with other options and choices, acting like they're withdrawn. This is a, a loner. This is somebody who's probably an introvert, somebody who fear commitment. And this is the truth. This person fears commitment. That's why this person has all these options and choices. But they're not even happy with these options and choices. They're realizing that their happiness lies on their choices that they make. Somebody's really getting a reality check that they are the cause of this effect. Cause and effect energy. They are the reason why they're unhappy. Unexpectedly, you have the two of swords. The two of swords is about somebody who is literally being a stalemate. Possibly somebody who is made, who is at a crossroads, they, they are in energy of blocked emotions. This is not even, this is a reading for this um, fire sign. This person is literally having, uh, it's been a stalemate because they are in the energy of seeing the truth. They are seeing the lies being exposed within their self. This is somebody who is emotionally detached probably from having these other relationships. They probably emotionally detached from... Dear, this is probably somebody who had two relationships. Probably made a decision about you. This is actually somebody who's literally at a crossroads. This is why they're coming in with this good news because they already, they're making a decision about you. Somebody who's literally dealing with somebody else that they don't really like. Somebody who they're blocking their emotions from somebody else. Somebody's really making a stressful decision. Clarify with the magician. This person is making a stressful decisions by make by manifesting you this is somebody who knows they have infinite possibilities with you aries gemini virgo energy the the letters ajs can be significant the colors red and yellow can be significant that's root chakra and solar plexus this person is being very clever in making this decision they have blocked emotions with whoever they probably had two relationship with relationships with. This person is definitely manifesting you. Aries energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy, Aries energy, Virgo energy. This person is being very clever. This person obviously is a womanizer. This person, of course, because they have the seven of cups. This is somebody who literally has a lot of choices. So they're being very, uh, they're trying to control this energy. They're trying to be, stay in control and manifest you in this energy. But this person is, is in the energy of doing what they want to do. Like this is somebody who don't want to be bound. Again, this person fear commitment. This person have all these choices being a woman. So they don't want to be bound to anybody. Um, this is somebody who don't want a commitment unexpectedly. This person probably don't want to give up and have a commitment. Again, this person is coming in to tell you this good news and show you that they probably want to have a ten of cups. I'm strongly getting that somebody want to come in and let you know how they feel. Probably it's in pieces of how they feel, ogre energy, but they probably don't want to get in the commitment right away because they fear commitment. They're going they're still gonna be in the energy of staying stagnant. Um very anti-social, introverted. Um, 20, 10, 22 on the clock, which is new phases in their in, in this, this person's life. 22 means new phases. This person is going through a transition. They're stepping into this new life. Um, if I'm strongly getting that you're, you both are completely in love with each other. This is the energy of you probably... You're, you're a very easygoing type of person. You're very mellow, very chill. Um... 
I strongly feel like you have to probably take your time with this person. I don't see that this person have any type of third party situations that they're probably dealing with because this person know that they're, they're making the right decisions by stepping into slowly stepping into actually coming in to give you this information. Um, this person is strongly wanting to come in and let you know how they feel um, that they probably definitely want a commitment. This could be somebody who um, they definitely want a commitment, but they want their own style. This is somebody who don't want to feel like they're bound. Again, this is somebody who literally have commitment issues. Um, they definitely want to still be in the energy of staying stagnant in this energy. Somebody who, um, definitely don't want to show their, um, they don't want to show their love right away. I don't know. This person may have gotten their heart broken before. Uh, whereas though they're probably in the energy of having low self-esteem. Because anybody who sleeps around with multiple people and still unhappy is obviously someone who literally has some type of low self-esteem. They're not happy in their own player ways. Um, the color blue can be significant. Again, this person needs to open up their throat. Their, um, their throat chakra this is somebody who's probably activating their third eye chakra and their throat chakra this person is definitely lacking experience of actually coming in to express their emotions somebody needs to speak up taurus energy um the letters e and w can be significant clarify it with the four cups again the four cups is about somebody who probably possibly could miss an opportunity if they don't speak up Somebody is still constantly staying in their stagnant energy. Somebody fear and commitment, staying stagnant, still daydreaming about this connection, but not coming forward. If this person don't rush in and come see you, it's going to probably be a longer time. It, it, this person literally has a negative focus on probably relationships. I don't know if this person probably had an issue with growing up with relationships this person have a hard time with expressing how they feel or expressing that they want to be in a relationship, but they don't know how to go about it. It's not an excuse because if you're a grown ass person, you, you know exactly what you're looking for. You're just scared. You're scared to show how much you want something. You know, like this is somebody who's very fearful very fearful of showing their vulnerable side. This is somebody who probably showed their vulnerable side to somebody who didn't love them. And they made a fool of this person. I don't think this person thinks this of you. But I think this person really is just so guarded. that They, they, they just... They don't want to show their other side. Um, in the near future, you have... I would actually just really take my time with this person. Be at ease with this person. This person really loves you. And I'm sure you really love this person. This per You probably bring peace to this person or something. Like, I'm strongly getting that. This person, you give this person butterflies inside. In the near future, you have the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups, again, is about reunions, happy times. Again, this can be some type of engagement. Somebody probably wants to come in and give you some type of engagement. This is somebody who probably drinks a lot. Somebody who probably gave you broken engagements. This also could be, I don't like bringing in the energy, but this could be a third-party situation that this person is probably still engaged in it i have three of cups twice pisces cancer scorpio energy this person probably could be dealing with three other females or two other females again dealing with two relationships that they're definitely letting go of clarify with the ten of wands yeah, this person is definitely burdened and stressed. This person is definitely letting go of another relationship to probably offer you this relationship because they holding on to you. Somebody's definitely in the energy of feeling like a stress. It's definitely somebody who is probably blocking their emotions. This could be you because this person is probably still dealing with a third party situation or this person is definitely in it. You think that this person is still dealing with another um Per another person that you feel like this person they feel burdened and stressed because you probably feel 
like this is a major challenge for you. you i don't think you know if this person is dealing with somebody or not so you feel like this person is literally taking you for granted aries leo sagittarius energy pisces cancer scorpio energy um you feel overloaded in this energy. You feel like this is too much stress because obviously this person is not showing you how they feel. They're not coming forward. They're, this is somebody who literally overthinks and daydreams about how you guys are going to live this life but not coming forward to let you let this person know how you feel. You feel like you are burnt out in this energy. You feel like you're beating a dead horse with this person. Because they're literally blocking your emotions constantly. You can't do anything with anybody if you don't know how they feel. Even though I feel like you know that this person loves you. I feel like you already know how this person feels. But this person is not coming forward to let you know how they feel. Clarify with the Six of Pentacles. Now the Six of Pentacles upright is about somebody who is receiving some type of gift. Um... This person is probably coming in to probably give you some type of gift. Probably being very generous towards you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Um, this person wants to give you some type of gift. They're being very generous with giving you this gift because they want to show you fairness. They want to balance out the scales with you because I feel like this person know that, sh that you know that they were probably just messing around with a whole bunch of people. Now, I could be talking to somebody who probably wasn't in a relationship with this person, but it probably was a situation where it probably started and it probably was a bunch of broken promises and a bunch of spiteful energy going on, you know, like a bunch of third party situations and all that energy going on. This person definitely want to come in and give you this gift. Because I feel like this person is burdened and stressed and not giving you this um situ you know this gift anyway. I also could be getting uh, I'm also getting the energy that this third party situation could be an energy of feeling fucking burdened and stressed as well, and they want to come in and give your person a gift. That could be another side story as well. I don't want to move out that because I do have through two three of cups. This person. Whoever they're dealing with, they already then cut off this person. I don't think they want this person because they're refusing to offer from this person. They 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 have a negative focus on that other energy. Let's not forget that this is somebody who's literally single right now and probably don't want these other options. They're looking straight at you. Um, and in this the future, you have these six of pentacles again. You got the six of pentacles twice. Again, this per this is somebody who is receiving some type of gift. Okay, somebody's very being very generous, but somebody's being very guarded in its energy. Again, I really either I, either your person is coming in and give you a gift, and this other person that they're dealing with is giving them a gift. It's like this whole fucking love triangle thing. But this person is probably someone is being guarded in this energy. Somebody know that this is like energy draining. This is a setback. Somebody's being guarded in this energy. They're learning from their past failures with this energy. They're not accepting this gift. Somebody's fucking tired of somebody. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Somebody is being very stubborn and being a stalemate in this energy. Somebody's guarding their self from this energy. Whoever's bringing this gift in, somebody's being guarded in this energy. They don't want this gift. They're not even looking at it. They're 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 standing up for themselves. This is a bunch of setbacks in this energy. Clarify with the Queen of Cups in reverse. It's from a Queen of Cups in reverse. This is somebody who is smothering. This could be this other third party situation that they're refusing to offer from. Strongly getting at this person who they don't have really a commitment with. Somebody who they they this is somebody who they they. They're not bound to. This is somebody who is giving them a gift because I feel like this person knows for sure. They know the truth that this person wants somebody else. So this other person, this Queen of Cups energy is coming in to give this person a gift. They're coming in to be very generous towards this person. But this per this Queen of Cups in reverse is somebody who's emotionally in insecure, emotionally immature, very insecure, overly sensitive. They're not getting the idea that this person do not want a relationship with, you, with them. They don't want a relationship 
they don't want to move forward with this person. They, they, this is a missed opportunity. They don't get it. This person is very smothering. This person is very depressed that this person don't want this relationship with them. This is somebody who literally has a blocked intuition. This is somebody who literally don't have the clarity. This is somebody who they, they, they're they not talking to. They don't have no focus on. This is somebody who they made a wrong decision with. They don't want this person. They see this person as a... Uh, they're blocking this person, basically. This is somebody who they don't want to be with. And when this Queen of Cups is in reverse, this is the type of person who... This is probably somebody who they probably was just messing around with. Both of these people were probably sleeping around on each other. It wasn't a serious relationship, but this person definitely is coming in to try to rob this person. This person is definitely trying to kiss this person's ass. Um, when this Queen of Cups is in reverse, she can be very spiteful and bitter. Again, this person is probably doing this to probably get either you upset or they probably just really trying to rob this person and probably worked in the past with this person they probably bought this per 10 33 on the clock they probably brought this is definitely a third party situation this other person um not a third party situation mean this person is taking this person serious but this other person is really trying to win this queen of cups in reverse is somebody who's very needy and weak very spiteful um, very bitter. They really don't want to get over the fact that this person is guarding yourself from them. This is probably somebody who is quite empathic too. They literally know intuitively that this person wants someone else, but this person is still trying to make this person focus on them, which is really a, a, a desperate type of energy. This is somebody who really desperately want to be with this person. This is Somebody who's literally not emotionally right in the head. Somebody who's emotionally um, not quite there. Like they're not, they're not at the top floor, so to speak. But um, obviously this person doesn't want this person. And they are definitely coming in to give you this information that they want to be with you. Somebody's definitely a stalemate unexpectedly towards someone else. Even though right now this person is dealing with these other options and literally is in the energy of fear and commitment. This emperor literally fears commitment. But they want to be with you. Take your time with this person. If obviously you are a type, if you are this queen of pentacles. You are definitely focusing on your coin. I think you really love this person or whatever. I don't think you're in a rush. I'm getting the energy of you not even being in a rush to be in a relationship either. Um, I'm strongly getting that this is two people who probably mirror each other, who really love each other immensely, who definitely want to work things out with each other. Okay. Yeah, whoever this other person is, it could be this Queen of Cups in reverse. This is somebody who they probably is not determined to have victory with. Somebody who definitely, they either they're backstabbing this person or this person has backstabbed them. This person feel backstabbed. This Queen of Wands, this Queen of Cups energy, I strongly think that's the same people. Because Queen of Cups in reverse and a Queen of Wands can be very manipulative. Um, this person wants balance, but it's looking like it's definitely going to be a bunch of mind games, repeating negative patterns. This is somebody who's literally not understanding that this person don't want to be in a relationship with them. This person is already in an ogre energy. I don't even think this person wanted to be in a relationship with this person or from the get go. This is probably an energy that. This other person was just a part of the roster. Okay, so we at 43 minutes. Um, I'm actually feeling really solid in this energy. I don't, I, I feel like I don't have to rush. Um, but um, you guys, I pulled an affirmation card for you guys. And it says, May I be happy, may I be peaceful, may I be free from suffering, may they be happy, may they be peaceful, may they be free from suffering. May all be happy, may all be peaceful, may all be free from suffering. 
And again, this rain, it's raining outside. Somebody's really trying to ease their emotional confusions and suffering. They're trying to ease their pain. They're trying to ease their self from not worrying about being, having a fear of commitment. When they know that you are probably their ease, you are probably their peace. Okay? Um, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but I'm definitely going to... I hope you guys can just, if you guys want to keep this, um, just take a picture of it. This is an affirmation, okay? Um, the repeating numbers that I have in this reading is my right, my left eye is twitching right now, so I don't know what that means to you. It could be me, I, I don't know, but it's weird. Um, I have, we have three, three on the clock. So I have three, three, um, six, six, and four, four, three, three, six, six, and four, four. Oh, nope. I have four, four, and four. So three, three, six, six, four, four, four. Yep, that's what I have for you guys. And I also have 9-9. Nine, 3-3, nine. Three, three, six, six, four, 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 and 9-9. Nine, nine. Okay. Do I have anything else? Nope. Spirit said I don't have anything else. But I love you guys. Um, I hope this is very helpful for you guys. Again, this is Blue Note. Timeless noted messages. So if these messages resonate with you, please like, share, subscribe to help my channel grow and to help, the, help these messages get out to someone who needs these messages. I love you guys. Smooches.